In this video, we will discuss the process for requesting and receiving caption files for your media. We'll begin from the home screen, which you'll see as soon as you log in to your Verbit account. If your unit has set up the Brightcove, Frame.io, or YouTube integrations and you want to pull your file from one of those sites, please hover over the plus and choose the relevant icon. From there, you'll be able to select your media file. If you'd like to upload a public or unlisted link, for example from YouTube or Vimeo, you can select the link icon and paste the links into the box. If you are uploading directly from your computer, you'll click on the plus button and follow the prompts to upload your media file. You can upload multiple media files at once if they will also be processed according to the same parameters. No matter how you've selected your media file, the second step will be to indicate your preferences and add additional information. To begin this process, you'll select the relevant profile for your request. Profiles are a combination of your requested service and requested turnaround time. A detailed guide to these profiles is available on the SharePoint training site. After selecting a profile, add any additional details in the speaker name, glossary, and notes section to support an even higher level of accuracy for your file. Labels allow you to tag files for future searchability. They can be added from here or later from the home screen. The use of permissions will be on a team-by-team -team basis. Your Verbit admin should let you know if you were to use this option. If not, it should be left blank. Once you have completed this step, click Confirm. Your submitted job will appear in the list on the home screen with the Work in Progress status indication. When your file is complete, you will receive an email letting you know. You'll also see that the status indication changes to Finished on the home screen. To access your caption file, click on the job name from the list. Next, select the Download option, followed by Captions. You'll be able to select your desired format or formats from the list. Transcript files are also available under the Transcript menu option. If you'd like to review or make any edits to your file prior to downloading, you can do so directly in the job screen. To edit the file, simply type and delete as you would on any word processor. The Command Plus button highlights shortcuts that are helpful in this process. Changes will be saved automatically as you work. If you run into any issues or have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact our support team via the chat button at the bottom of the screen.